Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be finishing up key commands on the M8. This is going to be part two. Sorry about the delay. I was in a little bit of a car crash and doing a little bit of recovering. So today we're going to be looking at uh, performance key commands on the M8. So these are going to be ones that you're going to want to use while you're performing or, you know, to play around with a song to get ideas and things like that. So the first thing that really tripped me up for a little bit here is the launching modes that you have. I'm going to call them like launching modes. So you can tell which mode you're in by hitting shift, select, and live. Uh, I'm going to be interchangeably calling select shift and shift select. Uh, as you can see up there, it calls it shift. Okay, so the first thing we want to take a look at is these launching modes here. So you're going to be able to figure out which launching mode you're on right up at the top. It's going to say song or it's going to say live. You're going to hit shift and left to change which mode you're in. Song mode is going to trigger a whole row um, indiscriminately. It's just going to go, you know, it's just, it's just going to let you go. And pressing play will start or stop the song there, right? In live mode, however, it's a lot cooler. You can trigger your clips individually, right? And that is pretty nifty. And you'll notice something in live mode too. If I was to go and let's say trigger this clip and then trigger this one right here, you'll notice it'll start slow flashing. And if I click it again, it's gonna start fast flashing. So what the slow flashing means is that it's gonna go to your live quantize amount and on the next uh, chain that comes, it'll trigger that clip with the slow flashing. On the fast flashing, it's gonna trigger it on the next chain there, or phrase, excuse me. So slow flashing will start the next clip when it reaches the bottom of the chain. The fast flashing will start it as soon as it reaches the bottom of the next phrase. So you can kind of get like cool, um, you know, like shifted start and stop times in your phrases, kind of, you know, get cool stuff by just, by just, you know, you know, triggering these things in different, you know, different ways there. So that's just kind of, and then, yeah, anytime you want to start and stop everything, just go right back to song mode you know, press start. Um, so that's just kind of triggering clips on our grid here, right? Pretty easy. You're just shift left, right? Okay. So now let's take a look at one more little trick for triggering clips here. And then we're going to move on to uh, soloing and, and uh, muting and whatnot here. So if you were, let's say, playing this bar, and you're like, okay, that's cool. Uh, I just want to now skip these two and go right to this one. Well, in song mode, you know, you press start again and you go down, it, it doesn't work. So if you wanna do that, you wanna hold shift and then press start. And then you can kind of skip around in your song without having to start and stop, all right? And that kind of works in live mode too. Uh, except in live mode, when you hit select and stop, it's going to take it away. So that's kind of how you stop a clip in live mode. So that's triggering and the, your little clips, chains, phrases, whatever you want to call them. Um, and starting, stopping them, skipping around your song and whatnot. So now that we've got that down, what we are going to do is take a look at at muting and soloing. So soloing is pretty easy and so is muting. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start our song. We're going to go to song mode and we're going to start our song here, right? And to solo something, you're going to want to hold option and start. And if you want to keep it soloed, you're going to let go of option first, right? See on our little mini map there, it stayed soloed. If you want to undo that, you hold, you release option, you keep starting, you know? So that's going to be kind of across the board with soloing and muting here. If we let go of option first, it's going to 
lock it in there. If we let go of start or select for mute, because this is how we're gonna mute, this is how we're gonna solo. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at this. We're gonna mute this drum track. We could bring it back in by just releasing shift, or we could keep it muted by releasing option, right? Okay, so that's pretty nice. And, you know, then we could come down here and maybe solo this bass line, you know. But now we, like, let's say we've got this whole, you know, deal going on here and we're like, oh, geez, uh, well, yeah, I don't know what to do now. So what you're going to want to do is to get all these mutes away, this guy, this guy, and this guy, right? That's going to clear everything. Okay, so yeah, pretty easy here. Mutes over here on the shift button. Solos over here on this start button. You can always tell what's going on by your little mini map, right? Okay, so now there's one last little key command in here that I found that I think is really quite helpful. Uh, if you are holding this option button and then you hit to the left or to the right, you'll notice that it's going to solo everything um to the left of your cursor or to the right of your cursor which i think is pretty cool for like momentary and then the same logic does not actually apply there if you these are strictly momentary so if you you know hit this and then you release it's just it's that's not going to work so these are strictly momentary solos and mutes um but i think they are quite handy and absolutely wonderful um so yeah that's just another quick little key commands and you know performance tricks for you there i uh i was playing around with these a lot before i actually figured them out and once i did it made navigating the interface and everything a whole lot cooler so yeah if you like this video slam a like on it if you loved it you know subscribe all that good jazz I will see you next time. Have fun, make some music, and we'll catch you later.